Florence was a center of medieval European trade and finance and one of the wealthiest cities of that era and is considered the birthplace of the Renaissance. We are now at Piazza della Signoria in Florence. In this piazza, many sculptures are displayed outdoor, which are the work of famous sculptors such as Gian Bologna, Bandinelli, Amanati, Cellini, and Michelangelo. Every statue tells its own story taken from Greek or Roman mythology. Effectively, it's an open art gallery of Renaissance art. Now let's have a look at the statues of Florence. This platform situated in Piazza della Signoria is called Loggia dei Lanzi. It consists of wide arches open to the street. The arches rest on clustered pillars in Corinthian style. It was designed originally to house the assemblies of the people and hold public ceremonies such as the swearing into office of the Parliament Assembly. Now it is effectively an open-air sculpture gallery of antique and Renaissance art. The piazza is packed with the work of famous artists such as Giambologna, Paccio Bandinelli, Bartolomeo Amanati, Benvenuto Cellini, and Michelangelo Buonarroti. All these artists were born in Florence or were residents of Florence. This is the fountain of Neptune, situated beside Palazzo Fecchio. It is made of marble and bronze. The fountain was designed by Paccio Bandinelli and the sculpture made by Bartolomeo Amanati. Neptune is the god of the sea in Roman religion. In the Greek tradition, Neptune is the brother of Jupiter and Pluto. This is purchased with the head of Medusa. It is a bronze sculpture created by Benevenuto Cellini. It is considered a masterpiece and is one of the most famous statues in Florence, Piazza della Signoria. It depicts Perseus as he stands on Medusa's body and holds her head up in the air. Medusa was a hideous woman-faced gorgon whose hair was turned to snakes and anyone that looked at her was turned to stone. This is the rape of Sabine women made by Giambologna. It is based on a Roman mythology in which the men of Rome under Romulus committed a mass adoption of young women from the other cities in the region. Giambologna sculptured a representation of this theme with three figures, a man lifting a woman into the air 
while a second man crouches, carved from a single block of marble. This sculpture is considered Giambologna's masterpiece. This is the statue of Menelaus supporting the body of Patroclus. This is the Rape of Polycena. It is a marble statue created by Pio Fedi. In this statue, Polycena is struggling to get away from Achilles while he easily contains her in one arm. The other arm is about to strike down her mother, Hecuba, with his mighty sword. This is the statue of David by Michelangelo. It is the most iconic statue in Florence. Michelangelo sculpted David the moment directly after challenging Goliath at a moment prior to one of the most defining points in history.
This is Hercules and Cacus, made by Baccio Pandinelli. Here, the demigod Hercules killed the monster Cacus for stealing cattle. It is the symbol of physical strength. This is the statue of Cosimo I de Medici by Ciambologna, which celebrates the Medici's ambitions and is an elegant portrait of the man who brought all of Tuscany under Medici military rule. He was an Italian banker and politician, the first of the Medici political dynasty, the factor rulers of Florence during much of Italian Renaissance. His power derived from his wealth as a banker, and he was a great lover of arts and architecture. Rejoice, O Florence, images in the plaza. 
come tell a story. This is Nicola Pisano. He was an Italian sculptor whose work is noted for its classical Roman sculptural style. Pisano is sometimes considered to be the founder of modern sculpture. Right behind the Loggia dei Lanzi is the Uffizi Gallery, Italy's top art museum. Between the two wings of the gallery is a narrow courtyard walkway which features statues of the great people of Florence Renaissance period. Giotto was an Italian painter and architect from Florence. He is considered the most important Italian painter of the 14th century. Giotto's masterwork is the decoration of the Arena Chapel in Padua. Donatello was an Italian Renaissance sculptor from Florence. He worked with stone, bronze, wood, clay, and wax. He is considered one of the greatest early Renaissance sculpture. Leonardo da Vinci was born in Florence. He was the famous Italian Renaissance painter, sculptor, artist, and inventor. His paintings, Last Supper and Mona Lisa, are among the most widely popular paintings of Renaissance period. Dante Alighieri was born in Florence. He was an Italian poet, prose writer, philosopher, and political thinker. He is best known for the monumental epic poem, The Divine Comedy. Niccolo Machiavelli was an Italian diplomat, politician, historian, philosopher, humanist, and writer of the Renaissance period. He was for many years a senior official in the Florentine Republic with responsibilities in diplomatic and military affairs. He wrote his most renowned work, The Prince, in the 15th century. Galileo Galilei, who once lived in Florence, was an Italian philosopher, astronomer, and mathematician who made fundamental contributions to science. One of his most important theory is that the Sun is the center of the universe and that the Earth is a planet, as Copernicus had argued. Michelangelo Buonarroti, born in Florence, was an Italian Renaissance sculptor, painter, architect, and poet who has a great influence on Western art. Among his best works are the painting in Sistine Chapel in Vatican, the statue of David and Pieta in St. Peter's Basilica. Benvenuto Cellini, Born in Florence, was an Italian goldsmith, sculptor, soldier, musician, and also wrote poetry. One of his most important work is the statue of Perseus with the head of Medusa. This is a replica of Angel with Dolphin by Ferrocchio in the courtyard Cortile del Michelozzo in Palazzo Vecchio. Giorgio Vasari decorated the walls with cityscapes depicting Vienna, Linz and Innsbruck, and other places in the Habsburg monarchy.